Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add limb physics or bone physics in Unreal Engine 5. Basically, how to make it look like you have a broken arm with a realistic movement. Whether you're making a ragdoll effect, adding extra realism, or just having fun with physics, I've got you covered. Let's get started. So let's open our character. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is going to go to the mesh. On the details tab, you're going to scroll down all the way to collision. Here, you're going to find this collision presets. By default, it's on character mesh but we're going to change it to Rectal. You have to have in mind that if you're adding this to your project on a later stage, you might want to choose Rectal, then Custom, and just modify here whatever you need. Then we're going to make some space in the event graph. I'm going to do it on the event begin play, but you can really add it anywhere. So first, I'm going to call the print string just to make sure that we're using the correct name. Then we're going to call the function make literal name. Make sure that it's literal name and not literal string because this is going to be case sensitive. After the print string, we're going to call the function set all bodies below simulate physics. And it has to have on parentheses the mesh. And then we're just going to connect the return value from the make literal name into the in bone name. And then the new simulate, we're just going to check that. Then for the value of the make literal name, you want to make sure that it's the actual bone name. So in this case, I might use the upper arm L. And if you're not sure about the name for your bone, you can just select the mesh hit this little button and then open the mesh. You can either look it up here or on the actual skeleton. And here, as you can see, we have the actual names and this is how I wrote it, upper arm L. An easier solution would be to select the bone, then right click and copy selected bone names. And you can just come back to the third person character, select the value and control V. It didn't change because I already had the name. Then just to be sure, connect the return value into the end string. Now we compile, go back to the third person map and hit play. And as you can see, the arm has realistic movement. It only affects everything that is below the upper arm bone. So basically the lower arm, hand and all the fingers. We're going to change to clavicle L. And as you can see now, the whole shoulder looks like a broken arm. You can add this for games that involve physics. Or if your character is missing an arm, you can just put some mesh on top like clothes or something, and then it's gonna make it look like he doesn't have the arm. Just have in mind that you need a skeleton for this. As you can see, this is also the type of movement that the characters from Fall Guys have. And there you have it. Now you can add realistic limb physics to create dynamic effects in Unreal Engine 5. This is a great way to add extra realism or fun to your game. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you have any questions or ideas for future tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.